Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the uh, 4th of December. So um, let's have a quick run through these markets. It's not going to be too long on some of them because I don't like them too much. Sort of looking at the Euro this morning uh, with some potential, but uh, we'll have to see how this pans out. Um, for now, it's, well, yesterday, Doji Bar, it could pull back from here a little bit, uh, maybe. Divergence across the four hours here, across these highs, and just sort of waiting. If it breaks through that uh, uh, four hourly eight, maybe it will pull back next sort of level of support down to the uh, R2 area, maybe the uh, uh, the uh, four hourly 21 there at uh, 10.56 sort of zone. So potential it pulls back. If it just consolidates around here further though, and well, uh, may, maybe it's uh, about to uh, continue to the upside. So, uh, but a break of the, the low here um, in between would really confirm potentially more downside. So look at, looking weakish, it's uh, already below its daily pivot. Very messy when you look at it on this hourly point of view, lower highs, lower lows. If you take away that and just have a look at the price action nearer where we are, so you can see the lower lower highs, lower lows at the moment, and the um, daily S1 looks like a reasonable uh, target at 10.62, so really tying up uh, probably um, close-ish to that uh, S uh, R2. Okay, so expecting maybe a bit more of a pullback on the euro. Now the pound is a similar-ish case, and I say this carefully because um, uh, the thing what's happened with the pound is we've got a stack of buy orders sitting above the current price. We've got uh, or buy orders going from about 30, oh, uh, 30 10 right the way up to about 30.30. 30. Um, and um, so there's about a 20 pip spread of net buy orders sitting above there and I do wonder when it's sort of poised like this there isn't a divergence here as such no not at all um, I do wonder if it will get a bit more of a bounce and break through uh, the yesterday's highs there and take those stops uh, or those orders out above us would be nice to see the daily pivot hit first we we'll just watch this this morning a little bit before chasing into this but uh, maybe a break of the trend line would be sufficient for the upside okay um, currency I traded yesterday dollar yen um, this um, well it's, it's pushing down it's already it's now broken it's uh, uh, daily 50 where it sits at the moment um, when you look at risk uh, this is the currency for risk and we've got plenty of risk sitting there with Trump and his uh, merry comments at the moment and well we may see more downside yesterday I was lucky enough to buy um, uh, buy sell into this uh, retracement um, and uh, get into the position but uh, well we'll see how it goes today it might, we might get an opportunity uh, to get into it but uh, at the moment there is certainly some uh, sorry just to change indicators let's have a look at some MACD on the lows here um, looks like there was been a bit of divergence across those may, may be a retrace back to the daily pivot see what happens if it gets back to there um, if all things change well it will push on through that but um, we'll leave it but that's a possibility Aussie's given up the ghost I'm just going to show you it on sorry this is a 30 minute chart here it's just for the 60 minutes given up the ghost lower highs low low straight through there and sold off through the daily pivot s1 and it really just shows the more weaker side of the Aussie um, no deals in uh, Ch with China US China until next year's it delays things even more for the economy that's very much depending on China so uh, we could see I say no deals but uh, the, the likeliness of a deal being agreed is, is reduced there and um, it uh, puts more pressure on the the uh, uh, Aussie dollar there uh, Canadian dollar Briefly, in brief, well, maybe it's uh, going to go push back up through the daily pivot and upwards. It may have been helped a little bit by oil and, of course, everything else that was going on the softer dollar, but uh, uh, that may be short lived. We'll just uh, watch for that, but not that interested. And finishing with the New Zealand dollar, well, that's. Um, it's just selling off a little bit from where it is at the moment. Almost got into its daily 200 there, which is one of the areas I was sort of looking at in my in terms of my long. But uh, 
I do see the long as a long term long, more of a position, so it will do what it does and it may retrace a chunk of this before and if it just, just continues in that bigger trend. So leaving that alone. So news wise today, the risk, uh, event risk today, um, we're sitting there with um, a few things coming out this morning. We got, uh, if we're looking at cable, we've got to be a little bit careful. We've got um, final services PMI now. It's the final figure, so it'll have less uh, less waiting. We had flash figures a week or so ago, and uh, that's now going to really soften the or soften the effect of these down here, I would imagine. But at 9:30, we got the final services uh, midday ADP non farms, and then. Um, at 3 p.m. we've got the US non-manufacturing and the um, uh, Canadian uh, Central Bank statement and overnight rate so there's a, certainly a certain important point for uh, watching the Canadian dollar if you're looking at it more swing wise maybe. Okay that's it for me I wish you uh, an, a great day bye for now. Mm -hmm.